Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Stuff I Never Knew Trivia Game Show Podcast. I'm Jeff. I'm your host. We're on the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. I've got Melissa, Ayla, and Kaya. Let's hear that theme music. That is correct. And tonight we have a brand new game. We're trying something new in the first round. And tonight we're playing a movie quotes quiz. It's brand new. We've never tried this before. My order tonight is Melissa, Ayla, and Kaya. Melissa, you're first. I'm going to read three quotes from movies. And you have to tell me which quote is the correct quote. So here we are from The Wizard of Oz. Dorothy talks to her dog with... We're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. Or, Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Or, Kansas, we're not in Toto anymore. <laughs> I'm going to go with the second one. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Let's see. The correct answer is... Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. First point to Melissa. Let's go to Ayla. We're going to Apollo 13, and Tom Hanks reports to Mission Control. Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we've had a problem. Or, we have a problem, Houston. Okay, my husband would actually really be upset if I got this wrong. <laughs> I've never seen it, but I feel like it's one of those really iconic. Um, so, I'm going to go with uh, the first one. Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem is correct correct Ooh, i can stay married <laughs> over to kaya darth vader the spoil this is a spoiler alert from star wars the empire strikes back darth vader confesses luke i am your father no i am your father or i am your father luke i'm pretty sure that it's no I am your father. And then Luke responds, no. Let's see on the next thing. Did I pick that as the animated GIF? <laughs> no. I am your father is correct. Correct. Back to Melissa. We haven't fooled anybody yet. Melissa from Highlander. The Corgan growls to Connor McLeod. There can be, there can only be one. There may only be one. Or there can be only one. Okay, I've never seen this movie. It's wonderful. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm going to go with the first one. There can only be one. There can only be one is incorrect. The answer is there can be only one. That was the third one. The third. That was one. my second guess. Yeah. <laughs> Over to Isla. Like Ayla, sorry, from Star, from Star Trek, the original series, Captain Kirk commands, does he say, beam me up, Scotty? Scotty, beam us up, or Mr. Scott, beam me up. Oh, all right. Uh, I'm going to do, uh, oh. beam me up, Scotty. Beam me up, Scotty is... Oh, dang it. <laughs> Incorrect. It's Scotty. Beam us up. I'm a podcaster. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Over to Kaya. In Spaceballs, President Scrob says, I don't know about this beaming stuff. Is it safe? And Commander at Zircon replies, Oh, yes, sir. Snotty beamed me twice last night. It was wonderful. Or... Oh, yes, sir. Snotty beamed me twice last night. It was amazing. Or, oh, yes, sir. Snotty beamed me twice last night. It was super chill. I have literally never seen this movie. I'm just going to get... I know. I know. I'm 28. I'm going to go with super chill because it just... <laughs> it's two words. Su I don't know. <laughs> super chill is incorrect. It was wonderful. Wonderful. And three more remaining. Back to Melissa. From The Graduate, Dustin Hoffman's Ben Braddock reacts, Mrs. Robinson, are you trying to seduce me? Or, are you trying to seduce me, Mrs. Robinson? 
or Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me, aren't you? Okay. Again, I probably should see this movie. I'm going to go with the first one. Mrs. Robinson, are you trying to seduce me? Are you trying to seduce me is incorrect. It's the one with the question, aren't you? Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me, aren't you? Back to Ayla. From Jaws, a stun Martin Brody utters, we're going to need a bigger boat, or you're going to need a bigger boat, or we're going to need a larger boat. I thought this was going to be so easy, but they're so similar. These words, you're really getting me good. So Jaws, super iconic. Uh, we're going to need a bigger boat. We're going to need a bigger boat is incorrect. It's you're going to need a bigger boat. Oof. And our last watched, one. Oh. I just watched it and. Just... <laughs> our last one to Kaya from Field of Dreams. A strange whisper professes, if you build it, they will play. If you build it, they will come. If you build it, he will come. I'm going to have to go with just the fact that I've heard the phrase before. If you build it, they will come and cross my fingers and hope for the best. <laughs> cross your fingers and it's he will come. He will come. He will show up if you build it. Let's go to that scoreboard. A very close game, a three-way tie. We started really strong, but then I got gotcha you with some of the clues in the second and third one. That means we're gonna keep the order the same. We're going to the hot seats. Melissa, welcome to the show. Hey. Where are you calling in from? I am in New Kensington. Well, tell us a little bit about what you do in New Kensington. So I am a boudoir photographer. Um, my studio is, it's just immaculate. It's this um, beautiful studio in New Kensington. Um, my mission is to provide a safe space for women to reconnect with themselves. Um, yeah. It's Melissa Jackson Photography. You can find me on Facebook. Um, I'm mainly, I use Facebook. Uh, I have TikTok, but I forget to record myself. I do have a podcast called let's flip your script and yeah. Great. And all that's available on your website. What's the domain? Yes. Uh, Melissa Jackson dot photography. Awesome. We'll put that into the show notes. Yes. Melissa, are you ready for the hot seat? <laughs> yes. All right, so in this round, we're doing what's called a breakfast connection. I'm going to give you four questions, and they're just kind of general knowledge, but the answers to those four questions will tie together to be something breakfast-related. And then we're going to do a spring name five. It's I'm going to give you five. Uh, I'm going to give you a category. You have to name five things that fit into that category, and you have 10 seconds. So, for example, if I were to say name five spices in your spice cabinet, you might say salt, pepper, cumin, paprika, and oregano. But we're going to do things related to the spring season that's coming up just around the corner. So it'll be like spring activities. So Melissa, your first breakfast connection question. What happens to water at 100 degrees Celsius? Oh, dear. Oh, I got to go all the way back to the chemistry in high school. <laughs> Ugh. Um, I'm going to say it freezes. Freezes is... I forget. The, the other boils. one. It boils. It, it boils that. <laughs> Let's go Oops. to... Uh, instead of Fahrenheit, what does the F in KFC stand for? <laughs> Fried. <laughs> Fried is correct. And... When someone has been persuaded to leave a company to go to a competitor, they've been blanked. The sharks come around and sometimes they blank an employee from another company. Remember, we're thinking of Ooh. breakfast. Remember, these answers um, tie together to be breakfast and you've did boiled, right. fried, and I got to put three seconds on the clock. I'm sorry. 
I don't know. It is poached. They get poached ah. from the other company. All right. And when fighter jets are quickly called into action, they are what? They say blank the jets. Fire up the jets. Fire up the jets is incorrect. Scramble, scramble the jets. We're looking for scramble <laughs> the jets. So, Melissa, for a bonus point, what ties together boil, fried, poached, or scrambled? Eggs. Eggs. Yeah. Ways to prepare eggs is correct. You got the bonus point. I'm going to put 10 seconds on the clock, Melissa. I need you to name five outdoor activities to enjoy in the spring weather and go. Uh, walking, fishing, hiking is walking, um, picnic, um, swings, going to the playground, and I don't know. Well, walking and hiking, a producer says all five, because you did say swings and playground. There's two things there. Oh, you okay. got you got all five points. <laughs> Very well played. Let's go to Ayla. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hello. I'm happy to be here. So glad to have you here. I see you're on air. You got your on air sign up in the back. Uh, tell us a little bit about where you're calling in from. I'm calling in from Hagerstown, Maryland, uh, oh. as of this week. Just moved here. And that the sign was just put up five minutes before this began because oh, nothing wow. else in the room is set up. <laughs> oh, very nice. And what do you do uh, when you're before you got to Hagerstown? You were doing something. Now you're doing something in Hagerstown. Uh, clearly, tell us a little it wasn't bit about watching, your show. <laughs> clearly, it wasn't watching a lot of movies. Um, but <laughs> what I do now, I have a podcast that I produce and it's called Curator's Choice. And uh, being the museum nerd that I am, it's all about museums. And each episode features a new museum. I try to do big and small. And uh, then I have the curator or a director or a volunteer, a guest come on the show and talk about a few of the extraordinary items that are housed and protected at the museum. Very nice. And if people want to listen and, and, and connect with you, what's the best way to do that? So you can find it anywhere you get your podcasts, uh, get its Curator's Choice, or if you would like, you can go to curatorschoicepodcast.com and you can um, reach me through there, or also you can just search it on Facebook or Instagram. Awesome. We'll put all that in the show notes. Are you ready for the hot seat? Ooh, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go. We're going to do a breakfast connection. Your first question, what is the name of the annual theater award for achievements on Broadway? It's got something to do with breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do not know anything about Broadway except Chicago musical. <laughs> The hot seat is, we call it the hot seat for a reason. Yeah, I'm over here being poached and boiled. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, have, I can't, can't even guess. It is the to, the Tony. You win the Tony Award. Okay. The Tony. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Our second one, the social media app that lets users send pictures that self-destruct after a few seconds is called Blank Chat. Snapchat. Snapchat. <laughs> did you snap too? I did. Snapchat is correct. Our third question, when someone finds a four-leaf clover, they are considered blank. Lucky? Lucky is correct. Oh, and your I, last I, one. Now we're sailing. Keep them this easy. <laughs> what is the title of Pixar's 2017 film about a boy who has adventures in Mexico's Land of the Dead? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a really um, good question that uh, shows that I just really haven't been watching those movies. Well, we have Tony, Snap, and Lucky as your answer so far. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> I'll put the three seconds on the clock. We have a weird, it just Land shows up every once in a while. Uh, I've got nothing. Nothing. It is Coco. Coco. Oh. Coco. So... What ties together Tony, Snap, Lucky, and Coco? Related to breakfast. Oh, definitely my favorite meal of the day. <laughs> Hot chocolate? Hot chocolate. These are your breakfast <laughs> cereal, Matt. Tony the Tiger, 
Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Well, that's why we ask them. Breakfast cereal oh. mascot. Very that's well played. You, you got some points. You can get five more bonus points if you name five types of plants, flowers, or vegetables to start growing in the spring and go. Uh, tomatoes. Uh, watermelon squash. Uh, pears. <laughs> Pear trees and grapes. At the buzzer, you got all five. You, you got grapes at the pear tree grapes. I think you, uh, you got them all at once, and that was five for five. Very well played. You got all five bonus points. Let's Thank go you. to Kaya. Hello, hello. <laughs> Hello. Well, you having fun so far? <laughs> well, yeah, I felt very confident about everyone else's answers this round, which is a sure sign that I'm going to be absolute garbage at my own. That's the beauty of the hot seat. It's almost like a deer in headlights. You just, you, you kind of freeze. But tell us a little bit about where you're calling in from, Kaya. So I am calling in from Darrington, Washington, which is such a small town. We don't actually have any stoplights. So uh, for the rest of the world, we're about, I, I'm from Seattle for the rest of the world. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I am uh, not to bring the vibe down, but I'm here uh representing my podcast which is about my cousin's murder case we're trying to get some justice for her and make sure that uh it gets fully investigated because the police unfortunately did not do their jobs so well let's get that out there how what's the best way that people can listen and and help and contribute yes. yeah so you can find us again anywhere you get your podcasts it's mm -hmm. uh the stand our ground podcast a bit of a play on the stand your ground law that was used um to close the case and we have a new shiny website you're actually the first place we've promoted the website because it literally got made yesterday so it's oh, nice. uh stand our ground pod.com and that's the stand our ground podcast it's the longer title is stand our ground the deanna stevenson case Awesome. We'll put that in the show notes. Make sure everybody follows all the links from all my guests tonight. Kaya, are you? Whoop. Kaya, are you ready for the hot seat? I better be. You already have a three second timer <laughs> yeah. on me. That's right. The third, uh, we didn't say there is a rule. Whoever goes last can only have three seconds to answer <laughs> each question. Uh, Kaya, by what name is Scottish whiskey often known as? Oh my gosh, my father's gonna be so mad at me. I literally, I know Irish whiskey has an EY, Scottish whiskey just has a Y. Scotch? Scotch is correct. One of my favorite questions have the answer in the question, so that we got you. <laughs> we didn't fool you at all. What is the name of the thin, wrinkled paper strewn about gyms as decorations for prom or school dances? So, what like, my. My impulse is to say confetti, but I don't think it's confetti. I think it's like streamers. Streamers. Is that your answer? Uh, that's what they're called, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, streamer. I guess you can't tell me. Yeah. I'll go with streamers. It's crepe paper. Oh, the crepe French paper. version of it. Yeah. I grew up in the South. <laughs> oh, wee wee. <laughs> Let's go to our next one. The Jiffy Mix in the white and blue box is famous for making blank muffins cornbread muffins cornbread muffins correct I have it in my pantry <laughs> and which sugary condiment is made from the sap of canada's favorite tree maple syrup maple syrup is correct so kaya what ties together scotch crepe cornbread and maple syrup or syrup <laughs> <laughs> i feel like i want to go with like so the crepe is kind of like a type of pancake, maybe. You use maple syrup for pancakes. I don't know how you would use cornbread with a pancake or what the scotch would have to do with it, but I'm just going to go with like a pancake flapjack moment. Pancake is correct. If you've never had cornbread pancakes, highly recommend it. It'll change your life. Oh, that sounds yeah. delicious. <laughs> and your name five bonus question, five more bonus points. If you can name five essential items to pack for a perfect spring picnic and go uh, grapes juice um a sandwich utensils and napkins and a blanket do i need more i'm so scared <laughs> you gave six but i always let the time run the full time to see what happens let's go over to that scoreboard oh my goodness it is a very close game after two rounds melissa and ayla are tied at eight and kaya is in the lead with ten we're going to the final round. I've got V 
very vague questions for you. Who am I? What am I? Where am I? And I'm going to start to read a series of clues to help you figure out the answer. At any time, you can buzz in. And if you buzz in on the first clue and get it right, that's worth three points. If you buzz in on the second clue, that's worth two points. And the third clue is worth one point. Now, if you're right, we're going to add those points to your total. But if you're wrong, we're going to subtract that point value from your total. So you want to be fast, but you want to be accurate. And I've asked each of my guests to bring their own buzzers tonight. And let's go around. And so everybody listening at home knows whose buzzer is whose. Melissa, let's hear your buzzer. <laughs> I got the harmonica. <laughs> and to Ayla, we got the tax in the box. <laughs> Very high tech. And to Kaya, we got the shaky cup. <laughs> also so super high tech. <laughs> <laughs> So here we go. Our first one tonight. I'm looking for a food. What food am I? So you'll see on the right side, there'll be a little timer, let you know how much time you have left for each clue. So I am rich in vitamin C and E and fiber. Now, a lot of times the first clue could be a lot of things. So it could be a risk or you could buzz in right away and steal those three points. Our second clue, I am commonly eaten fresh in salads or blended in the smoothies. So we're kind of narrowing it down. And our third clue for one point, I am a tropical fruit known for my sweet, juicy flesh and rough green exterior. I'll guess, oh. kiwi. <laughs> Ayla, kiwi is oh. in incorrect. I let the pressure get to me and I just wanted to go. <laughs> I don't eat fruits or vegetables unless my wife sneaks some of my food. <laughs> I don't know. And any other takers? Uh, it's pineapple. Ooh. Pineapple. Did, did I? I must have. I don't know what I was thinking. All right. Well, here we go. Which creature? We're looking for a creature. Hmm. This is the most well-known of the North American butterflies. I heard Ayla. Is it the monarch butterfly? Monarch butterfly for three points is correct. Correct. I'm making up for that live or the kiwi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going back to foods. I'm looking for a food. What food am I? I am made from pork and seasoned with herbs and spices. Little happy little piggies. Our second clue for two points. I am a type of cured meat from Italy, thinly sliced and served uncooked. Kaya. Salami? Salami is no. incorrect. Oh, Kaya. Oh, I'm sorry. Ayla. Kayla. Ayla. I'll take that point, actually. Uh, no. Uh. So, I, I'm also going to do a big guess here, but is it prosciutto? Prosciutto is correct. Correct. Very well played. And I, that's the first. I made it 27 minutes without messing up a name, and I just did it. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm heavy on the foods this week. Here we go. I'm looking for another food. What food am I? I am more nutrient dense than lettuce. Doesn't take much. <laughs> yeah, it's just crispy water. <laughs> Our second clue for two points. I am a leafy green vegetable high in vitamins A, C, and K. Kaya. Oh, I just got water on myself. Sorry. <laughs> Is it spinach? It better spinach. be spinach. It, what if it's not? You're going to get mad? Yeah, because spinach is the only vegetable worth eating. <laughs> Spinach is incorrect. No. <laughs> Melissa. I'm going to say kale. Kale for two points is correct. Correct. Kale. kale is just imposter spinach. Less good spinach. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is it? I'm looking for a what? I am often worn during festivals, weddings, and formal ceremonies. No takers. Maybe our second clue will be a little more specific. I, or my fabric and style can vary based on season, 
occasion and the wear status and age. <laughs> Melissa. I'm going to say a dress. Incorrect. We'll go to Ayla. Uh, is it a veil? Incorrect. We'll go to the third clue. I am a traditional Japanese garment. Kimono. Uh, Did you buzz in? <laughs> oh, sorry. I assumed it was just me left. No. Oh. There can only be one. It, it, kimono <laughs> is correct. And I forgot to mention, you're not locked out once you buzz in. You can buzz in multiple times uh, oh. during the show. So feel free to lose many, many points. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're halfway through. We're looking for a river. Which river am I? I am the largest tributary of the Ohio River. Our second clue for two points. This tributary is the first name of the American playwright who wrote a streetcar named Desire. And the name of this river is also a state. <laughs> the state is pictured on the map. <laughs> I, I think I heard. <laughs> uh, well, I think everybody buzzing at the same time. I'm oh, David saying one. Kaya. Tennessee. Tennessee is <laughs> correct. The Tennessee the, River. I didn't see you. I see. It was I very thought it was it. I... Were you going to say Tennessee? No, I thought it was a. I thought the map was a trick. <laughs> Me too. I was like, it can't be Tennessee. <laughs> Well, you, like, you've watched this show before. We're looking for an animal. <laughs> Which animal am I? Uh, the only stuffed specimen of this species is located in the Museum of Natural History, Gothenburg. Dun, dun, dun. We have a museum specialist on the show today. <laughs> and it grows up to 30 meters long. Our third clue for one point. It is the largest whale in the world. Kaya. Blue whale. Blue whale is correct. Let's go to the final question. I'm looking for a brain teaser. A brain teaser. Which brain teaser am I? Its name means single digit. Naming single digit. Our second clue for two points. A nine by nine grid has 6.67 <laughs> times 10 to the 22nd power distinct solutions. Uh, Ayla. Is it a Rubik's Cube? Rubik's Cube is incorrect. Yes. Kaya. Sudoku. Sudoku is <laughs> correct. Nice. Correct. Let's go over to that scoreboard. It is Melissa and Ayla tied at eight and Kaya at 10. After all of this, we are we're even. Back where we started. <laughs> we are back where we started. We have a winner. Kaya is going to walk away just by a two point squeaker. We call that. Congratulations to Kaya. Well, real quick, let's go around. Tell us real quick where can we find and connect with everybody. Melissa, let's start with you. Um, you can find me on Facebook, um, Melissa Jackson Photography. I have a website, melissajackson.photography. I also have a podcast called Let's Flip Your Script. Awesome. And to Ayla. You can go find my amazing museum podcast at curatorschoicepodcast.com. Dot com, and I just dropped an episode about the Puseum, which is a museum about fossilized feces. So <laughs> worth a check out. <laughs> Wonderful. And to Kaya. And you can find me at Stand Our Ground Podcast or StandOurGroundPod.com, where we have just gotten into my cousin's phone and are finding some stuff the police never bothered to investigate. We'll put all those links in the show notes. Congratulations to Kaya winning tonight. Let's dance our way out of here. <laughs> <laughs>